I'm Jeanette Edmonds, I'm from the Keele Centre and I'm a human factors practitioner and um, I'm a, a fellow of the um, Institute of Economics and uh, Human Factors and obviously a chartered member. So, so to sum up um, my life as a human factors specialist, I've been uh, working as a practitioner for more than 22 years, so I've seen some changes in that time. Um, I've had the privilege of working in a lot of different industries, um, ranging, well, most of my work is in high hazard at the moment, but I have worked in a number of different industries as well, uh, so consumer products, railways, um, also telecommunications, mobile phone systems, that sort of thing, um, as well as the oil and gas chemical processing and, and some of the more safety critical industries. And I think one of the, um, wh why I say it's a privilege is re really because I work with so many different people from so many different backgrounds who do so many different things and um, to have had that opportunity to to see all walks of life in all sorts of different industries um, has felt like a privilege. So, for, for instance, quite early on in my career, I was working in defence, and um, part of understanding the nature of the task, I had to drive a tank. <laughs> I had to dig a trench with an excavator. Um, I've been on a cruise liner and uh, working with, with different folk on, on cruise lines, as well as going offshore and, and the challenges of um, trying to take part in, in some events which could be quite challenging, like um, being able to um, keep yourself safe on a helicopter that rides out to the, to, to the rigs, and, and as well as being in quite a, um, a, a challenging environment. Hi, I'm John Berman. Uh, I'm a director of Green Street Berman. I'm also a chartered fellow of the Institute of Economics. Uh, the simple answer is I can't sum up my life. It's incredibly varied. Um, I've been involved in human factors pretty much since I left university. Uh, I started in, in the aviation industry. I've worked through a number of high hazard industries. Uh, where I am now is that I'm a director of, of a consultancy and we work across the high hazard industries, nuclear power, rail, the utilities, any organisation where... Uh, there's a need to try and help the organisation understand people, understand human behaviour, uh, manage the risks to people and the risks that come sort of from people. Uh, and, and we help those organisations really uh, get to grips with how do we help people uh, perform successfully and, and, uh, and enjoyably and, and make the system work. Um, so my name's Elle May Hubbard and I'm a technical member with the CIEHF. Um, I work at Loughborough University, I'm a lecturer there in systems engineering. As an academic, my daily life is so very varied, um, so I do a huge amount of different stuff. I work with students on their projects quite a lot of the time, I do teaching, uh, and I also do a lot of research. From the research side of things, um, with, with ergonomics and human factors, I do a lot of work on technology acceptance um, and getting people to actually use some of the great things that we design within the world of engineering. Um, so one of our recent projects that's actually just finished um, was working, looking at um, changing around the way that maintenance is done um, within the rail sector. So actually getting people uh, there quicker, stopping the delays, and meaning that things like trains and, and stations are actually working for, for more of the time. Part of the work that we were doing then was that, um, as I say, the, the technology was there and the technology works but we were looking at how to actually embed that within an organisation and how to get people to, to actually use it. So these great inventions are actually used within the workplace and ultimately benefit uh, people on the, in their daily lives.